<laughs> oh my god! Taking it back, all the way back to 1997. 1997, I was born. And there was my mom, there was my dad, and there was my brother. Me and my brother had like such a good relationship. We just like kicked it off like two peas in a pod. We were best friends, we just did everything together. But then another person popped into my life, which was Nicola. She's my sister. It wasn't just me and Josh anymore. So maybe it stemmed from like Josh giving Nicola more attention than me at some point and then maybe I was a bit jealous and I was like disliking Nicola because I was like, oh, you're taking Josh away from me. I want Josh all for myself. When we were younger, me and Nicola had like a horrible relationship. We've got a fight on the video. Hey, you guys, Hayden, what did you just do just then? Yes, we have been getting better as we've been getting older, but that said, one of my goals in 2020 is to like make sure that I like maybe like try my best to make our relationship flourish in some sort of way. So Nicola's been planning her 21st for like the past, I don't know, like year or two. And she's been like, okay, I want this to happen. I want this to happen. I want this theme. She finally found the perfect place to have her event up in Melbourne. She was like, okay, perfect, done. I'm so happy. I'm so excited for this. She invited a bunch of friends, bunch of family. People are gonna fly down and they're all gonna have a great night at her 21st at this event venue and everything. It was gonna be great. But then COVID-19 came in with a swooping attitude. I don't know what that means, but it came in and it swoops Nicola's uh, 21st away from her. So now that she's not gonna have her 21st elsewhere, she's just gonna be spending her 21st with her family. Like, lucky for her. Maybe instead of having the party elsewhere, maybe we'll bring the party to her. I can go to my followers, maybe put up on Instagram and ask you guys to make a like happy birthday song. As in like sing happy birthday, Nicola. I was trying to think, okay, like how can I put this up on my Instagram story? Uh, if Nicola follows me on Instagram and stuff. Do you think that there would be some sort of way that we could get Nicola to be off her phone for like 24 hours? If I say to her, we're gonna, we, we wanna look at getting you a new phone, but I need to have your phone on me because some, I need to sync something or do something. We've got She's to, not gonna uh, believe you. Uh, oh, it's Josh. Oh, well, what we could do is we have like a family day with our phones. I'm going to find a happy birthday track to share with my audience so that when the people are singing happy birthday, it's all in the same tempo. It has to be all in the same tempo because if it's not, then it'll just be all over the place. It has to be pretty much perfectly in sync for it to actually sound harmonious. Happy okay, that's fucked. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I reckon that's perfect. Okay. I'm like shivering. Like I'm nervous about this. Are you? I don't know, because I really want it to work out. Well, it is because of the secret. Yeah, but like it might not be a secret if someone leaks it what? to- You just do the best you can, Val. A cover can be blown with this one dinner. That looks way too obvious. If she sees the camera recording, or if she suspects anything, if we act weird, if we don't just chill out, then we're just, we're done. All right, I have a proposition to put to my family. I think that because we're in self-isolation at the moment. Yes. I think that what we need to do just going? is just try 24 hour phoneless. 24, for 24 hours. Oh, I can't. No, because I have to talk to my new friends for my assignments. Can you talk to them on the computer? On what? I don't know. Zoom. You just email Zoom? them. No. Zoom. Why not? No, that would be so hard to do for a group project. When Why do you want to do it? Because I think it's just a good opportunity for us all. I can't, Mum, though, because I could fall behind. Do you know how quick what things go in Messenger? What, no. what, 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 what if we did 24 hours where we delete all of our social media apps? Okay. You don't have to delete them. You just send your notifications. I know what you mean, but like the thing and is, it's so easy for you to just open it back up. Just don't do it. Are we all on board? I, I'm on board. Yeah, for sure. All right. It'll be interesting to see what... How our day goes. That's good. I think we did well. I think we did too. I'm gonna block Nicola off Instagram though, right now. In Instagram, I'm just gonna take a photo of that. Hold down my thumb so it creates a black backdrop. I need your help. Hey, what's up? Hope you're having a great. <laughs>
recording your message on video. If it's a very concise message, it makes it much more difficult because you have to make sure you get like all the dot points down. I'm just gonna keep going until I get it right. Perseverance, baby, perseverance. Okay, hey, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Um, I actually, no, that sounds inauthentic as fuck. Um, okay, you know what? Let's be inauthentic. Who gives a shit? Hey, what's up? Um, okay, she's turning 21, the big 21. Like that is a big birthday. Okay, I'm being a fucking idiot now. <laughs> to that. Uh, oh, fuck me. This is really difficult because I'm putting pressure on myself. <laughs> you know what? Let's actually get the message wrong. Fuck it. Fuck it. I have a really quick request from you and it would mean the world to me if you did this. 21st birthday. What I want from you. This exact song, I'm going to leave it in the swiper. Also, please, if you know Nicola, do not tell her because this is a surprise. Thanks. Okay, I think that was good enough. People don't like putting themselves out there, which is absolutely fine, but I'm gonna have the lowest of expectations. If I have like 10 people send me a video, I think that's good enough. I think, I don't know. The videos that I've gotten back, a lot of them are out of sync and they're singing in like a different tempo to everyone else, even though I told everyone to sing in the same tempo, but I don't think that everyone got that. This is just putting 10 of the of the clips in the timeline, just 10. We've got over a hundred. This is what it sounds like. Oh my God. So it means that I'm gonna have to go through each individual clip, speed it up or slow it down just a tiny bit so that it sounds like it's sort of in tempo. I don't even know if it's gonna work because whenever you speed up a clip or slow it down, it changes like the voice. And I don't even know if Premiere is gonna be able to even handle this. I think that I underestimated how much time this was gonna actually take for me to put together and it's the day before Nicola's birthday. So I've just got today to just smash everything out. I didn't go through all of this effort to not get this done in time, obviously, so. That's not too bad. I think that we could add a little bit more instruments to it. I don't have any more, so I'm gonna ask the audience. I'm gonna say, attention all instrument players, if you could send me a DM saying what instrument you play. So hopefully we can get like maybe some pianos, some violins. And all right, Steph Calder says that he plays the drums. Yo, uh, Stefan. I was wondering if you could play drums, like play happy birthday on the drums. Alrighty, we finished. She's just rocked up. Rendering screen is still up and I can't even take it down. Unless if I, wait, no, I'm gonna hide that. I'm gonna put Safari up or something and uh, yeah. Yeah! Holy shit! Oh my God, how did you, how did you do all that? You said you wanted balloons. <laughs> <laughs> How's the moment? This is something that I've been working on for the past like four days. Three, two, one. 21 years old. That's just ridiculous. Super grateful to have a sister like you and I would never want you to change anything about yourself. Like, I love you so much. Because you couldn't have your 21st out with your friends and your big party and everything, I thought that I'd bring the party to you with uh, maybe not so much all your friends or anything, but with uh, with my people, so happy my birthday. People. Hi Nicola, happy 21st birthday, and I'm not really a singer, so try to bear with me here. Happy oh, birthday God. to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, Nicola. Happy birthday to you. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! Happy birthday to you!
Happy birthday, Nicola! I'm wishing you a very happy birthday. Namaste. What do you want? I love you, Tom! Oh, <laughs> so good! Oh my god! Oh, your face! Oh. Give me a hug. Oh, I'll give that. I'll give that. I'll give that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Believe that I have to watch that again. Well, I'm sorry, but <laughs> yeah. the personal stuff means the most to me. So thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Um, <laughs> it was an awesome 21st, and I'm super glad that Nicola had like the time of her life. I would not have been able to do it without the help of you guys. So. I'm extremely proud of you guys for putting yourselves out there, being vulnerable, having the courage to actually speak on camera and be kind enough to share that with me. Like that's absolutely unreal. These acts of kindness, these are the kind of things that really strengthen people's relationships. And I think that after this video, me and Nicola, it's just one building block to creating a stronger relationship. So I'm super grateful for you for helping me out with that. This isn't a question of the day, but uh, it was more of a comment that I thought was like a really, Nice comment. Uh, he said, I spent five hours filming a photography video because I sounded awkward. Uh, Hayden has taught me that yesterday I could have just been my awkward self, lol. You can either choose to be a winner and be full of fear and anxiety and just try and please everyone. Or you can be a loser. If you're a loser, then your expectations are brought all the way back down and that's called acceptance. Calling yourself a loser means there's all up from there. The best thing about being a loser is you have nothing left to lose. So instead of being obsessed with winning and creating something good, which is gonna bring anxiety and perfectionism and you won't create at all, how about you go the other way and do what people aren't doing and be a loser so you can actually open yourself up to even create something. That opens you up to expressing yourself, being weird, allowing yourself to literally be yourself. And when you do that, in the process, you will live a much better life. Choose love, not fear. Anyway, that's uh, the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.